The INEC boss who claimed responsibility for the postponement said it was entirely that of the commission and not under any influence or security issues. He noted that the commission earlier considered Sunday or Monday for the conduct of the election but had a rethink after receiving input from the ICT department that it would take five days to reconfigure card readers. He therefore assured the nation and stakeholders that the commission is determined to keep to its promise to conduct a free, fair and transparent election that beats the 2015 general elections which has become a benchmark for the Commission. I want to appeal to Nigerians and all other stakeholders for their understanding in what has been a very difficult decision for the Commission. Our decision is entirely taken by the Commission. It has nothing to do with security nothing to do with political influence, nothing to do with availability of resources. We believe that ultimately this decision is good for our democracy and for our country. I wish to assure you of our commitment to free, fair and credible elections. As chairman of INEC and on behalf of the Commission, we take full responsibility for what happened and we regret any inconvenience our decision might have caused. Professor Yakub also agreed that the recent fire incidents in Abia, Anambra and Plato had effect on the Commission's schedule of activities. He however said the Commission had been able to mop up card readers from other areas while new permanent voters' cards have also been printed as replacement for those who lost their PVCs to the fire incident. He noted that sensitive materials have been taken to the Central Bank of Nigeria for safekeeping. Apart from these logistical challenges, we also faced what may well be attempts to sabotage our preparations. In a space of two weeks, we had to deal with serious fire incidents in three of our offices in Isia Langwa, South, local government area of Abia State, Kwampan, local government area of Plateau State, and our Anambra State office in Oka. All these challenges mean that there have been differences in preparations from one state to another. Our overall assessment is that if the elections went on as planned, polls will not open at 8 in the morning in all polling units nationwide. Yet, we are determined that polls must hold at the same time and in every part of the country. In this way, no elections will be staggered. The INEX chairman's decision was endorsed by all political parties present at the stakeholder meeting. The stakeholders' meeting, which attracted political leaders, aspirants and other political watchers, featured questions and answer segments where grey areas were cleared on the cancellation. Sharon Ajay reporting.